We're going to do a simple regression to see if advertising dollars is a good predictor of sales dollars. So in other words, is there a cause and effect going between advertising dollars, sales dollars? And then we're going to throw in a dichotomous categorical variable, gender, to see if gender has anything to do with the relationship between advertising dollars and sales dollars. First thing I'm going to do is go to Analyze, go to Regression, go to Linear. So we're trying to prove if sales dollars are affected by advertising dollars. I'm just going to run that one first, okay? Statistics. And again, I don't want a lot of this lower stuff. Um, I'm just trying to show you how the dichotomous variable works, so I'm going to skip the rest of this stuff. Click OK. Boom. There's our correlation right there. So the correlation is R, right? So the correlation between advertising dollars and sales for everybody, regardless of the gender, is 0.219. And it is significant. Yay. Okay. So now let's play around with the categorical variable. First thing I always do is I, I have to do this because this is the only thing that makes sense to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split the file first. And then rerun this same regression to see if there's a difference between the male regression and the female regression. If there is, that means that gender is acting as a moderator. What that means is it works for one level of your categorical variable, but not the other level or other, other levels. Okay, But this is the problem with the dichotomous thing. SPSS kind of handles it kind of funky, so that's why I'm making this video. All right, so we're going to split the file by gender. We're going to rerun our regression. Everything else should be preset, and it is. But now we're going to get two different regression models. One for the, one for the guys and one for the ladies. Okay, So here's the first one. Males, they have a much higher R squared. Hmm, interesting. So the relationship between advertising and, and sales is very strong for the males. It is significant. But if you look for the females down here, the advertising dollars just isn't working on the females, and it's not significant. So we do know that gender is acting as a moderator between advertising dollars and sales. So let's do it the SPSS way. First way I was taught, we're going to do old school, and I do mean old school. First, we're going to we're going to dummy code gender. So I'm going to dummy code them both. I'm going to make one male dummy coded, one female dummy coded, where they will be represented with a 1, and the opposite gender will be um, represented with a 0. And I'll just do them real fast. So I'm going to go to Transform, Recode into a different variable. And I'm just going to call this Male Dummy. No jokes. I know there's one in there somewhere. So we're going to change the old values and the new values. And so one is male, two is female from the original gender. Remember that one is male, two is female. Okay, so we want one. It's going to stay one. Everybody else is going to be a zero. So that means males are one and females are going to be zero. Boom. And I suggest you always double check. And they look good, right? So there's all the ones. Let's double check. And there's all the zeros. That worked just fine. So we're going to do it again. We're going to make another new one. We're going to call it um, female. Dummy. So with this variable, females will be marked with a one. And males will be marked with a zero. So let's click that one out of there. So this one, from gender, right? Two is a female in gender. We're going to make it a one in the dummy coded. And everybody else is a zero. So again, click, click. And double check to make sure we did it right. So there's the females. And yeah, it looks perfect, right? Okay, so we have our dummy coded male and female variables. Coming up next is we're going to center the predictor variable, which is advertising. To do that, we need to find the average get in there you of advertising 
just the mean, you know what I mean, just the mean, and that mean is, oh, I forgot to unsplit the variable, please hold. Seriously, I do that all the time. So remember, if you split a file, always unsplit it when you're done. Saves you a lot of time there. So let me get it again. Analyze, descriptives, frequencies, advertising dollars, and it is 92. I'm just going to call it 92.7. Okay, so the mean is 92.7. So now we're going to compute a new variable. I'm going to call it advert centered. What I do is I stick in advertising dollars variable. And I'm going to subtract out the mean of 92.7. That's going to give us a new variable that is strictly the what we call the variance. It's the distance away from the mean for advertising. So now I'm going to create two new variables that are the product of male dummy and the centered advertising, and then a new variable called the female dummy times the advertising centered. So what that does is these new product variables will only be either female information or male information. Got it? So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Our first one, transform. We're going to make a new variable. And it's just going to be the product of advert centered. And I just put a times, the X, that means times. And then we're going to do the male dummy. So what we're going to do is take the advertising centered, multiply, use the little asterisk there, the male dummy. Okay. So this new, this is a product variable, what I call a product variable. This will only represent the male advertising data. Okay. We're going to do the same thing, but this time with females. And I'll just change this to female. And replace that with female dummy. So this new product variable will only show you the female advertising information. And now here comes the good part. We're going to go to analyze regression linear. And I reset it, but the DV is still sales dollars. So the first independent, we're going to go ahead and stick our advert centered. That's going to come out identical to the other one. Okay. Then we're going to do next. Then we're going to stick in the advert centered times the male dummy. Now this is where it gets weird in SPSS. Because with dummy coding, you're supposed to leave out one of the levels of the category. So SPSS somehow knows you're dealing with dummy codings. I think when it sees the ones and the zeros... It knows that you are trying to dummy code. So if you stick in so many of them, it's automatically going to drop the last one for you. That's the weird part about this. But let me show you. So here's the first one. The centered advertising with males. Next. Now I'm going to set the advertising centered with females. And this second one will not show up in the output. Because again, I think SPSS knows what you're trying to do. So let's put that in there. Let's go to statistics. And again, I don't want a whole lot of this information just to show you what's what. Click OK. So here we go. Right? There's the model R squared here. This is the one that I normally look at first. So the first model is the same as the last model, right? 219. Um, the correlation is 0.219. R squared is 0.48. And it is significant. Now, if you look at this second row where we stuck in strictly male dummy advertising dollars, it too was significant. Okay. So this tells me that there's, um, that for the males, the relationship between advertising dollars and sales dollars was significant compared to females. Is that what they're trying to say? Now, watch this. I'm going to change the male figures with the female figures. And we're, we're going to get the exact same second row. Confusing, I know. So I'm going to take out this one. 
and I'm going to take out this one. So there's the first one. So I'm going to go to next. This time I'm just going to stick in the females first and then the males second. So on this one, the males won't show up, but everything else will. Okay, so here we go. So here's the new one. Same first row, right? You know that's the fine. But now here's the second one. It's got the female dummies in it, but you get the exact same statistics as it was with the male. So what that tells me is, yeah, there's a significant difference between the males and the females when it comes to the relationship between advertising dollars and sales dollars. That makes that makes gender a moderating variable, right? Because it's the, the relationship between the two variables is only significant for one level, and that's the males, but not the females. So this, again, this is the weird part about SPSS. It will only take one less than the number of variables you're trying to dummy code, and it puts out the same response when you're doing one or two. Now watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna stick in gender by itself, where it had the ones and the twos. Right, I'm gonna no, 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 no. I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna take these out. And so there's the original. Now watch, I'm gonna stick in the ones and twos with gender. Oops, hold on. And let's take a look at what you get there. So this is the one, right? This is just regular gender one and two, not dummy coded. The numbers are a little bit different, but the significance, it's still significant. So this is showing that there's a significant difference in the relationship between advertising dollars and sales dollars between the genders. Okay. So again, the numbers are a little bit different, but the, the dummy coding and the non-dummy coding, they agree. The, uh, the numbers aren't exactly the same, but they do agree that shows there's a significant difference. Okay, one last thing. I'm going to show you how to do this in with the Hayes process, and it's a lot easier. Okay, hold on. So Hayes process, we're going to go to Analyze, Regression. We're going to go to the process. And there's a video on how to download this and where to download it. It's free, and it is cool. Okay, our Y variable is sales in dollars, right? <laughs> Our X variable, we're just going to use advertising, not the centered one, though it wouldn't make a difference, but we're just going to use advertising. Now, the model number, number one, it looks for moderators. Number four is mediator, so we're going to just stick to number one. And our suspected moderator is gender, right? Not the dummy coding, just a regular gender. Stick that in there and click OK. And it literally takes about two minutes. I'm going to pause this video. And here's the output. One big warning. For some reason, the variable names cannot be longer than eight letters. So you're probably going to have to rename your variables. Anything under eight letters is fine. But here is the output for the Hayes process. Model one. So your DV is sales. Your IV is advertising dollars. And your suspected mediator is gender. So here's the first overall model. Okay. And... This is regardless of the mediator, or moderator, sorry. And it is significant. In other words, advertising dollars is good at predicting sales dollars, regardless of gender. And then the second model down here, there's advertising dollars. It's significant. Gender is significant, right? Now, but here's the main one, interaction. So the interaction is significant. You see that? Therefore, that means that the interaction between gender and the relationship between advertising dollars and sales dollars is different. So it's either significant for the males or it's significant for the females, but not both. Okay, so let's go down here to the bottom. Right here, this is the coolest one. So gender number one, that was males. We see that the relationship between advertising and sales was significant. But if you look at number two, it wasn't significant for females. So in other words, Whatever they're advertising isn't attracting the females, but it is attracting the males. So I'm thinking it's something very manly like pickup trucks or beer or, you know, manly tools or something like that. So, but that's it in a nutshell. I know it's very confusing, but I hope that helps. MGZ out.